What's going on guys, my name is Joshua Daniel George and welcome to part four of the Watch Me Build a Lead Generation Campaign for car dealerships with Facebook ads. And now that we have set up our campaign, we have set up the ad set, it's now time to actually set up the lead form and the advertisement. Okay guys, and welcome back to part four of the Watch Me Build a Lead Generation Campaign for car dealerships with Facebook ads. So quick recap of everything we've done so far. In the first part of the first video, I basically gave a brief introduction, explanation into what we're actually going to do. I also mentioned a few little things with the Facebook pixel. In the second video, I set up the campaign, gave, gave you, you know, some information on that. The third video, so the one previous to this, we set up the ad sets. Um, I also mentioned all of the testing that we can do, which um, I'll get into a bit more depth and detail in the next video. I mentioned the audience sizes, etc. And in this video, we're going to be setting up the lead form, so the actual advertisements. And then in the last video, we will recap everything. And I'll also show you guys you know, how to do the basically the age, gender, um, ad set split test, basically. Okay, so without rambling on too much, let's set up our advertisement. So at the bottom of your ad, and no idea why I always, always start with the ad first, or the form first so go to instant form at the bottom or if you want you can just start at the top um, I always go to lead form first so instant form you will only get this on lead generation campaigns so if you have not got this form then that means you've set up the wrong campaign and you will need to go all the way back to the start click on lead generation and then you know basically build up everything from there so new form form type we can choose either more volume, which is uh, one that you can quickly fill in and you know, basically you, know, you can get people to submit on a mobile device. Or you can also have one with a high intent, which basically gives you a review step and gives people the chance to confirm the information. Now, if you just want as many leads as possible, go for more volume. If you notice that not every lead is qualified, some people are filling out the wrong numbers, etc., then go for the higher intent. Okay, same goes for the questions in a second. If you notice that you're getting a lot of leads but not everyone is qualified, then add an additional question to your lead form. If you notice that the cost per lead is going up really quickly and it's getting expensive and you know it's you're basically getting qualified leads but the leads are too expensive, then remove a question which is basically removing a hurdle from the form so there's less hoops for that person to jump through and you'll notice you'll get more leads because if someone sees a lead form with 20 questions, they're not going to fill it out unless they are really, really interested and they really want to you know, use your service, okay? I'm the exact same. You know, if I need to fill out a questionnaire and it's three questions, I'll do it, but I will only fill out a 10 plus questionnaire, 10, you know, with 10 plus questions if I am genuinely interested in what you know, I'm getting offered. Okay, so for now, we'll start out with more volume. We'll gauge how the leads are, you know, are the uh, good leads, are they qualified, etc. If they are not, then we can always go for higher intent. Okay, so from here, form type, more volume. Introduction is basically what we can now add. Uh, we can add a headline, a paragraph, and we can also upload an image. And um, so we'll be doing that now. Okay, so let's start with the headline. Um, I probably should have put a bit more thought into this, so we'll have to do it from scratch. Um, let's see, what should we do? Get, get a, get a quote in the energy bills. No, get a free car um, valuation. Actually, let's get a free car valuation. Um, find out. Actually, there's no way we can, what else here? Ah, here we go. Okay, so actually, find out how much your car is worth. Oh, just about not able to do it. So remove this, find out how much, get a free valuation today. Free car valuation today. Um, is it me? It look like there's two spaces in between valuation and today. Uh, never mind. Okay, so find out how much your car is worth. Um, what else can we say? See what you could um, see what you could get if you sold your car yourself. Um, 
or get a guide price if you're looking to buy. Okay, I'm not, is that correct English? See what you could get if you sold your car yourself or get a guy price. Is, it, is that correct English, guy price? I think it is. Or get a price if you look. So basically what I'm trying to say is, um, you know, they can find out how much they can earn if they sold the car themselves or, um, you know, they, they can basically get like a quote on how much the, the car dealership will, you know, give them for it and then you can also like add some stuff in terms of, um, well, like basically they can also, you know, get a car there and then if they want to basically trade it almost for a new car. So, um, I think that copy needs a bit a bit of work. I'll go back to that later, but for now, I hope this is clear. I hope um, people understand what I'm trying to say here um, from there. Um, actually, let's add an emoji to the headline. So, emojipedia.org, there we go. And then we can see if we can find maybe a car emoji. Police car, racing car, railway, tram car. Just a normal, there we go. Oncoming automobile. Copy. Nah, just the one. Get a free car valuation today. Okay. Found out how much your car is worth. I've got like a money emoji I think we have um, okay so and this is the UK so obviously we'd be doing pounds and then maybe another car one automobile there we go that looks better okay so this is uh, basically the start of the form then we've got questions, and then obviously we can change the image up, etc. Okay, um, so to upload an image, we'll obviously need an actual image because this whole video is, or the whole series actually, is for educational purposes only. We don't have any content from the client because the client doesn't exist. So we can do something like, uh, we can Google um, selling second-hand cars. And basically what I want is a person that is happy standing next to a car or maybe buying a car buying first car okay now there's a human being on it for example like as you can see here these are very stock image e so you no know, these are probably not the best but images with people on it will always outperform just images of example the building or the car dealership etc okay so um, like i said these are very professional looking um, you'll notice that because everyone's so used to having these professional looking advertisements that um, you know if you actually have an image that looks real that it will outperform um, it will outperform you know the other um, like the professional looking images okay so uh, let's see well it's okay like I said, it looks professional, which I'm not really too keen on. This one looks okay. We'll use this one for now. Okay, I'll add that to desktop. Ads manager. Upload an image. There we go. That right, looks okay. We can even add like the logo of the the company here um but this is okay for now so questions what kind of questions are we going to ask in our lead form so um what we can do is first of all we need email that's fine phone number is essential let's just start with okay so full name email phone number um what else should we do so we're set, so what we're doing is we're basically giving them a free valuation for the car that they've got. So maybe information on the car. Um, so short answer maybe. What is the um, brand? No. What's the make? What is the make of you uh, and so what is the make and model of your car? Okay. Next one. Uh, short answer again. Um, 
what else is in relevance? What year was your car made? No, what's a better way to make it? Man man manufactured. Okay, what year was your car manufactured? And then what else can we ask? Short answer, what else do we need? Um, what is your car's annual mileage? I don't even know if that's relevant or not. I guess it is. Adding too many questions may impact your submission rate. That is true. So we'll start off with these. If you notice that we're not getting as many leads, then obviously we can remove one of these three questions because um, these are the most essential. These are just more to qualify the audience, okay? So the full name, email, phone number are the most essential for, you know, obviously for the client, okay? We need, we will need to upload a privacy policy. Um, we won't be able to basically continue without one. So is there any privacy policy that we can use here? If not, uh, oh, there we go, privacy and cookies. Hopefully we can get away with this. Um, so link text, link URL. Oh, okay, so your privacy policy. View our privacy policy. Okay, so we've done that. And then we can add a thank you screen. So thanks, you're all set. Your info has been sent to We Sell Any Car. Tap to visit the We Sell Any Car website. Okay, so obviously we will need a better um, lead form like thank you page here. So um, we've sent your um, request to we sell any car. They will contact you within 24 hours um, to give you give you a quote on your car. Thank you for, no, we've already said thanks. So remove this. View the We Sell Any Car website for more information. Okay, visit website, button text for your website, and then We Buy Any Car website. Okay, again, guys, I must mention it, but this whole campaign is for educational purposes only. We Buy Any Car is not our clients and we are not trying to set up ads for We Buy Any Car. We are just using the We Buy Any Car um, website because it was open at the time and you know we're setting up this uh, campaign, but we're not actually publishing it, okay? So this is what our lead form looks like. As already mentioned um, in the introduction, we can also change up the image here, but for now, this is okay. So save the form. Actually, let's change the... Can we still change the title? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we sell any car lead form. Save. Okay, that's saved. And then that's fine. Finish. Okay, we've done everything. Okay, so our lead form is created. Now we can actually set up the actual ad. Okay, so that image, this does not mean that this image will be portrayed on the advertisement. Okay, this is just the image on the lead form. So what we can do now is set up the actual image. We've already connected it to the Facebook page. We're going for single image, not a carousel. We could do carousel if you have like multiple images of the same car, um, but in this case, we'll just do single image. And then from here, we'll uh, set up the text and all that first. And then from there, um, we'll find an image that is um, right for this offer okay headline will be click here and then point and right copy okay again you'll be able to choose we buy any car as the display link and the uh, the actual link Oh, there's no actual link actually. Okay, so we just use this. Um, call to action will be get quote. Okay, so as you can see, the call to action will now change here from, I think it was Liam Moore to get quote. Okay, and now we can add a text. Um, and for text, what I like to do is I like to find um, copy from other 
advertisements. So what I would then do is go to the Facebook ad library and uh, look at other competitors, okay? Now, because we don't have any direct competitors, because we don't actually have the clients, I'll just um, come up with a copy from scratch and um, you know basically set it up like that. So um, let's just start with the actual headline. So um, let's just say we Uh, let's see, well, what can we actually say? So we, no, instant car selling quotes for your, not second hand, used, used cars, used cars. Used cars. Get a free instant quote in minutes. Okay, and obviously add all the emojis. Again, put a bit more thought into the headline and the copy of your advertisement. Uh, if I know more about the client, then obviously I can add a bit more uh, personality to the, the headlines, etc. Um, so instant car, automobile, oncoming, there we go, copy. Instant car selling quotes for your used car. Okay, so at the time of recording this it is January and I always like to give a reason for uh, for the offer. Okay, so for example, Christmas, or I could say Christmas sale. For New Year, we could do New Year's offer or New Year's sale. Again, because at the time of recording this is January, we will do January, um, January madness, January sale, January whatever so we just do January uh, not sale because it's not actually so January uh, January discount and then we can even add something like insane January discount add a shocked emoji oh no actually let's let's not do so let's do the, the party emoji Parting face. Insane January discount. Instant car selling quotes for your used car. Get a free, um, so get a free instant quote in minutes. Okay. Description. Where's this appear? Ah, there. Okay. So let's just do free uh, quote on your used car. Okay, there we go. So that is the offer. Now we need to edit the image. So I already mentioned, um, basically images like this will outperform um, the images that don't have human beings in it. Okay. Another thing we can do if you're stuck for images is basically, so again, let's just do we buy any car. So you get type in we buy any car, you go to maps and you basically look at the actual images of We Buy Any Car through Google My Business. Okay, so in this case, um, let me see this. Oh, I didn't actually know this. So We Buy Any Car in, in the Netherlands. I thought it was just the UK. Uh, so yeah, We Buy Any Car Chesterfield. We click on that and there we go. Okay, so in this case, there's only just that one image, but more often than not, there will be. So let's just do We Buy Any Car in the, near London. I will notice that there is more images, so all of them. This is just one again. So there you go. So images like this will always outperform the images um, that you find on Google. Why? Because these are real, okay? These are real images and people can tell a real image from a stock image, okay? With that said, because this is the UK and we are also promoting the ads in the UK, you might get into trouble. So do this at your own risk. Okay, so um, let's see if we can find one in the US. Um, let's see. Let's just do car dealerships, not UK, US. Okay, just so we 
don't run the risk of that person actually seeing themselves on an ad. Um, car dealerships, find local Ford dealers. Um, okay, so we don't want to use my location because it's the Netherlands. Um, US car dealers. Okay, that is not, uh, that's basically a, a car dealer for the US. So um, let's just do an actual, so let's do car dealerships in Texas. Okay, so here we go, we've got Texas Auto. Occasion dealers. Okay, so let's just do this one. Texas Auto. Okay, so you click on it, and then you can see the images of Texas Auto. Now we need to, okay, this is quite a, Small chance we'll actually find uh, an ad that we need here. But I hope you get the point. So basically what you can do is you can find real images that people have taken with either the phones, etc., cetera, um, and then you can add them to your advertisement. Again, at your own risk. However, um, they will always outperform the high class, high quality stock images, okay? So in this case, um, just because I, I think I've proved my point here, uh, we'll use the image that we found previously on Google. And then I'm going to basically show you guys a method on how to basically get that click through rate through the roof. Okay. So Instagram post is fine nowadays. Facebook and Instagram use the same format, which is 1080 by 1080. Upload, upload an image. Uh, was it this one? Quick look. Yes, it is. Okay, boom. Remove this. So we've got more room to work with. And then we add our image here. Make sure it fits. Make it a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay, so this is our image. Now, what I always do, or always, what I've been doing and been getting great results with, is adding a pattern interrupt to the image, okay? So that could be, for example, a border. And guys, yes, I know this is hideous. It doesn't look nice. The quality goes down, but this will interrupt people from scrolling, okay? So if they see an image and it's got a neon green border, which is a color that you don't often see on Facebook, because obviously Facebook is mainly you know blue, navy, white, gray, etc. If they see a neon green border, that will get them to stop in their tracks, okay? They'll want to see, because it's interrupted their pattern, okay? It's interrupted them from scrolling. They see a hideous neon green border, and they want to know what it is. So that is why they stop scrolling. From there, they'll check out the headline. And because we are targeting, it is cold traffic, but it's targeted cold traffic, they are more likely to click on the advertisement, okay? The second pattern interrupt that we can use, again, with a very bright color. Um, in this case, we just do red. And what you do is you add the circle to a place where you wouldn't usually look, okay? So the first thing you look at when you see this image is this female's face, okay? The second thing you look at is what this person has got in his hand, which is the keys. And then the third place you look is either his face or the tablet, okay? So what we need to do is we need to add this circle to a place you wouldn't usually look. So for example, here bracelet her bag in the background, maybe the buttons on his um, on his jacket, maybe the inside of his jacket, or maybe somewhere in the back, but I think in the back it might be too close to the woman's face. So, um, you know, for example, his pocket. Okay, that is a place that you wouldn't usually look, and people will try and figure out why this circle is around his pocket or around the inside of his jacket. Okay, people will try and figure out what it is. They'll spend time looking at the ad because it's targeted cold audience. They, there's a more, uh, a bigger chance that they'll click on the advertisement. Okay, and the last pattern interrupt is the arrow, which basically does the same thing as what I mentioned before. So again, you know, you change the color to let's say bright red. There we go. And then people will try and figure out why the arrow is there, okay? In this case, we'll just use the border. Neon green is fine. PNG, that is also fine. Download. Okay, so we have our image. Edit the image, change the image. Upload the image. And for those who are very skeptical about the pattern interrupt, 
um, and that you'd rather choose the high quality images over the pattern interrupts, fine by me, just test it, see you know, what your own experiences are. Um, for me, I have always had the best click-through rate and the cheapest cost per click with images with pattern interrupt. Now, why can I not upload? Is this actually the correct image? Let's see. Yes, it is. Cancel, let's try again. Edit image, change image. Ah, oh, it was, I already uploaded the image. I just couldn't see the pattern interrupt. Okay, so we've got our image. We've got our primary text. We've got our headline. We've got our lead form. We've got our quote and we've got our campaign. Okay, guys, so from here, the advertisement is done. If I click on confirm, your ad must be associated with a Facebook page. Please select the Facebook page. Uh, we already done that. We already had this one. Okay, so from here, if I confirm this, the advertisement will be published. And as I already mentioned, because it's for educational purposes only, we will not be publishing this advertisement. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you now get a bit, of, bit more of a... So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you now better understand what I mean with lead form advertisements, etc., and how we can actually set that up within Facebook itself, okay? So you don't need ClickFunnels for this. You don't need all kinds of mad software for this. You can do all this within Facebook itself, okay? Now, if you need a bit more guidance with this or if you want to actually work together where I take you on as a personal client and push you to the next level in terms of your agency, I do offer coaching where you basically get personal access to me via WhatsApp. You get access to a WhatsApp private mastermind group. You also get access to the private Facebook group and also my lifestyle design mastery course. Everything is linked in the description box down below. If you are unsure about this or if you're on the fence about joining and you just want to basically get a bit more information about it, I also offer a free discovery call, just a quick 15 minute chat, no strings attached. Again, linked in the description box down below. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next video.